In the process of researching and reading and writing, you end up with a lot of stuff. And if you don't organize this stuff, uh, it becomes ridiculously easy to lose the stuff. Uh, and also, it kind of gets to the point where you feel like you are overwhelmed, you are drowning in stuff. So, I'm going to tell you some of the tools and technologies that you can use to sort of keep track of your stuff so that the process goes better. If you want to keep track of stuff that you get from databases, like PDFs of journal articles, or stuff you get from catalogs, like book reference citation information, in addition to uh, websites or your own thoughts, your own little chunks of text, one tool you might use for this is Zotero. Zotero gives you sort of a central place to keep all of that stuff. Once you have it there, you can annotate it, you can put it in different groups, you can tag it, you can search it, you can uh, relate it to other stuff in your collection of stuff. And then the neat thing about Zotero is that once you are in the writing process, so you're actually writing in your word processor, uh, it will let you insert citations or footnotes to that stuff, and it's going to format it uh, however you want it formatted. And then at the end, you can even have it create a bibliography in that same format of all the stuff that you cited in the part of the paper that you wrote. Uh, so that's very handy. Also, it is very good for collaboration. You can uh, invite other people who have Zotero accounts to a group. You can choose how private you want the group to be. And then you guys can share your stuff and you can talk about your stuff. Evernote is a similar tool to Zotero, but it's a little more holistic. So the kind of stuff that you would keep in Evernote would be anything from uh, handwritten notes to recipes to audio recordings to screenshots to lots of different kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and then once you have it in Evernote, you can add notes to it, you can organize it however you want. Um, it is really great for just uh, lots of different kinds of stuff. It is very versatile and flexible. You can use it on lots of different platforms. Um, and it's also really good, it has the feature, I mentioned the handwritten notes, so it has a feature where you can actually take a photo of handwritten text. So if you had this great brainstorming mind mapping session in your friend's office on the whiteboard, uh, you can go in and take a photo of it. You can put that in Evernote and then it will be searchable uh, along with the rest of your stuff. So that's pretty great. Once you start the writing process, you might realize that having so many different kinds of stuff doesn't really lend itself to a traditional word processing program, in which case you might give Scrivener a shot. Uh, Scrivener was originally developed for fiction and for script writing, but it works really great for research-oriented writing as well. It lets you keep your stuff, your research material materials, in this case audio recordings, videos, photos, images, right in line alongside your writing. The little chunks of text that you have that will then grow into your writing project. It also lets you view these in different ways. Uh, so you can have your, your snippets of text on different cards, which you can then rearrange, drag and drop in the screen to figure out which organization works best for you. It has a hierarchical outline format, and then it also has more of a, a traditional manuscript format. So very linear from beginning to end. And then you can kind of move in between these, depending on where you are in your project and what works best for you. Although the other tools that I'm gonna mention are free, uh, Scrivener does cost money, although there is a free trial period, so if you are interested, you should check it out. The last tool I'm going to mention is called Trello. Trello is kind of like a, a meta tool or an overarching tool for managing and organizing the uh, stuff that you have to do during the research process. So the tasks, the deadlines, the different stages that have to get done throughout this process. Uh, it's sort of like a visual to-do list or timeline. Um, it is similar to Scrivener in that you can put, you can break your stuff up into cards, you can rearrange them in different orders. Uh, once you do that, you can label them, you can prioritize them, uh, and then you will know exactly where you're going and where you are in that part of the project. So you can zoom in to a very fine granular detail of the project and then zoom out to a bird's eye view of 
of where you are and where you're going. Uh, it also does have some collaborative features. So if you are working on a project with a group, you can share this sort of group organization as you work towards your ultimate product. So basically, doing any research or writing requires you to gather and make sense out of a massive amount of stuff. Hopefully some of these tools can help you to save time, stay organized, and stay sane throughout the writing process.